We present a prototype system for interactive 3D mapping and reconstruction of indoor environments using RGBD cameras, such as the recently released Microsoft Connect. We begin with an overview of the system interface. The left side shows a real-time visualization of the 3D map being built. The lower right shows the color and depth input from the RGBD camera. The upper right shows the last frame that was successfully merged into the current map. The interface features a health bar indicating in real time how reliable the current matching is. This is determined by the number of features matched. Let's take a look at a real user experience. As the user moves the camera around inside the room, the scene interior is being reconstructed. The 3D position of the camera relative to previous frames is determined using image features, as indicated by the red dot shown in the top right image. 3D reconstruction works well if the captured image sequence is smooth and continuous. However, it could easily fail when the camera is operated by a non-technical user. For example, if the user moves the camera too fast, the newly captured frame may have insufficient overlap with the previous frame, such that a typical reconstruction pipeline would not be able to connect it with the existing scene. In our interactive system, if this happens, a red light will turn on in the health bar and scanning is paused. The user can resume the scanning by directing the camera to capture a view similar to the last frame shown in the top right corner. The user may also select any previous frame of the map from which to continue mapping. Once matching succeeds, capturing resumes seamlessly and the light turns back to green. Another common case which would cause map building to fail is when the camera captures a view that contains too few features, for example, a textureless wall. There are no features providing no way to accurately align the new frame with the existing map. Our system will wait until the user moves the camera to a view with features which can be connected to an existing frame. Once this happens, scanning continues. Now we are able to get more of the table and sofa. The user can examine the current map, viewing it from any angle at any time. Here is an example map captured with our system. Here is a second example of a larger map. Note that this map was captured with a single loop around this area. One application of our system is 3D localization. In this example, the camera's position is tracked against a map previously built with our system. The maps generated with our system are metrically accurate, so they can be used for measuring dimensions. This could be applied to remodeling and redecorating. A final application is interactive 3D visualization. In this example, the user moves through the map using gesture control. The user may also use gestures to position objects, such as furniture models, within the environment. 